A tonight, a mother says she is traumatized. A man is seen on camera trying to break into her home. It happened over the weekend. Here you see the suspect using a crowbar trying to force his way into the home on the far northwest side. It happened while the woman and her two young children were inside at the time. Tonight, 21 year old Sebastian Beltran was walked in front of cameras in handcuffs. Ken's Five reporter Hannah Tita with what led to the arrest and how to protect your home. When the knock on a door turns into something more. Once he felt comfortable that there was nobody in the house, it appears that he tries to force entry utilizing a crowbar. It happened at a home on Lavella Bend near Water Lily Way at about 430 on Saturday. Tonight we spoke with the victim who didn't want to go on camera, but told us she was at home with her two young kids. When she realized what was happening, the woman said she tried to take her kids upstairs to hide them. Then you hear this. Her daughter screaming. Uh, he indicated that he uh, fled the location when he realized that it was children inside the house. The house, and as as to hear him say it, it was because he realized they were kids, and he has a heart. So thankfully for us, we got a burglar with a heart of gold. Authorities posted this doorbell video asking for tips, and the Bear County Sheriff says they started pouring in. Today, deputies arrested 21-year-old Sebastian Beltran. That was instrumental in helping us get this information out there. It's good quality video. It's good placement. Michael Auerbach is the founder of Alamo Smart Home. I think everybody should have it. It's just like insurance. There's cloud recording, which is important, you know, so somebody can't just steal in and take the hard drive. The problem with cloud recording is that a lot of times it can miss a lot of things. And so it's really important to kind of use both. So the cameras that we use, for instance, they do record 24 seven, and then they also push any motion to the cloud. And I did tell the victim about Beltran's arrest. She said she's relieved by this news, but she's still traumatized by what happened. Beltran was charged with attempted burglary, which is a third degree felony. Uh, police tell us they're still looking for one other suspect in the, this case. So if you know anything, please call BCSO. Live at BCSO headquarters tonight, Hannah Tita, Ken's 5. Hannah.